Welcome back to Hockey Tools. I'm Tom. So today we got a, a little short uh, Roach Coach um, break time episode. I think that's what I'm calling them. <laughs> anyway, uh, a couple of viewers have asked about uh, some details on my leg. And one of them is uh, this tray that we have on the back side here. So we're going to show this tray today and how it's put together and, uh, and how I use it uh, uh, on the machine. Um, so let's get into it. We'll change the camera around and we'll get up close and we'll have a look at this. Okay, so I just call this thing my, uh, my uh, tailstock tray. And um, it's, uh, you know, uh, whenever you have a lathe or a machine, generally you need a bench or some horizontal surface close by that, uh, that you can, you know, you can stow stuff on, you know. I've got my oil can and my oil cup and my uh, my lead knocker from Adam and my copper knocker um, so a few different things here um, and then um, you know drill chuck centers and some other accessories stuff they're just using all the time here now what's interesting about this is, you know tailstock tray is nothing new um, this one can move oops uh, it can move if you're paying attention um, I added that little file rack onto the end recently. Anyway, you can move around. Generally, you don't need to pull it any closer, but you can take this all the way off. That way this thing can, uh, and we're going to take it all the way off and we'll show the underside of it uh, also. Um, and the L-shaped was just kind of a serendipitous accident. I had a piece of plywood that had a, a rectangle cut out of it and it was just about, the, well, it was that size. I didn't even recut it. And I put the rims on it, and anyway, it works out kind of nice. Um, and the tail stocks, you know, goes back, and I get a little bit of surface up close. I can put measuring tools here and um, things like that. Uh, and if I need more tail stock, I can just take this off. Um, and it's just made out of uh, uh, plywood and some hardwood rims. I left this open here. Uh, that way, you know, if you have long shafts or something like that, they can they can lay in there, and uh, you can still set them down and uh, be close to the lathe. Um, okay, so let's show this from a different angle, and uh, I think I'll take those files off, and uh, and then we'll pull this out, and uh, we'll look underneath, and I'll show you how it's attached to the uh, attached to the machine. Okay, so I got it cleared off here. Um, we're just going to slide it off. And then we'll just flip it over right on the machine here. You guys can see what's underneath here. And these are just guides here. And these are T-shaped, so they snag the uh, they snag the ways underneath there, like the tailstock does. Uh, but they allow me to slide back and forth. Um, and I think this was just a, a, a spacer to keep it from rocking. Um, anyway, it's just glued and screwed together. Nothing, you know, no fancy woodwork here. And, uh, but it's become really useful. Um, this thing here is a... Uh, I, I'm undecided about this thing here. Um, it, it sticks out and I, I have to go in here, so I tend to snag this when I walk in there. And uh, So I'm thinking about moving that little thing there and you saw that it didn't allow me to slide that forward either. Um, so anyway, you can... Uh, So, you know, I can put a bunch of weight on there. Um, okay, so I'll put everything back and then we'll just talk about uh, the stuff that stays on this tray basically all the time. Okay, let's just talk about every, uh, the stuff that stays on this tray basically all the time. First thing is just a set of jobber drills, just so I don't have to, uh, I don't have to go walking around for those. And then I usually keep a... Uh, um, a taper shank drill here that I can just throw in the uh, the tail stock uh, and mainly this is just uh, so I can get a boring bar started real quick so I can smack a hole without running around the shop a lot of times you don't even care what size hole it is it's just big enough to get your boring bar started in so I keep that there all the time you know and uh, taper shanks are nice because you don't have to horse around with a chuck which is the other thing that I keep here all the time uh, nearby Jacob's Chuck, and then uh, we got 
just your basic live center. And those are four Morse taper just for scale. And then uh, um, a countersink and a uh, pretty good sized center drill just to keep around there. And then, uh, then the knockers. I got my uh, A-bomb approved uh, uh, lead knocker there. And then uh, this is a small one uh, for tapping, doing indicating, or seating drills sometimes uh, in the taper. Um, so that's kind of stuff that stays in there all the time. I got my, uh, my brush that I use for cleaning up uh, on the machine. And then uh, my basic lubes. And, you know, that's about all that's on there uh, all the time. Um, and then my little file rack off to the side that I'm kind of soft on and kind of undecided. Anyway, that's the stuff you need all the time. Uh, I got down below here, I got the wrench for the, uh, the tool post and some other stuff. But, uh, it just keeps this more open so I can lay measuring tools and, uh, and stock down on that. Okay? Anyway, that's the, uh, the tailstock tray. Thanks for watching.